Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, we have the new Miroslav Klosa to check out. Guys, he's six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, a five star weak foot, right? So the five star weak foot's definitely a welcome inclusion on this bad boy. Uh, player traits, he's got power header traits. Pretty obvious there, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty obvious. Uh, he should just have base 99 jumping, let's be real. Because we're all gonna give him an engine chemistry style. What other chemistry style are we gonna give this guy? Let's see. Let's see what people give him. Honestly, if they end up using them or using this car in their team, then they would specifically have to use like a Hawk if they actually go for like the heading presence of the card. Because depending on your play style, you're either going to go with the Hawk chemistry style to boost physical as well as jumping to work with the heading capabilities, or you go with an engine chemistry style because you know that you're going to face a lot of like park the bus people and having a little bit of dribbling can definitely be very helpful. To be fair, having extra dribbling while being a lean body type player could be something that compensates well for the card, but he could still be very good at heading the ball when given the opportunity. So we'll see how that kind of works out in game, right? Because he's a high medium work rate card at six foot with a 98 acceleration while being a controlled player. Yes, you can make this card a lengthy player if you decide to give him the architect chemistry style so that he makes those runs really quickly and you would still make him very physical oriented because the jumping would be there as well, right? So you can see that some people are giving him the engine, the hawk, not really taking the lengthy into consideration, which you probably can to be fair, right? Like you just work with agility and balance as it is, but you would really focus on that physical presence of the card to win the heading um, opportunities. But, you know, for us, we are gonna be giving him an engine because I need to be able to dribble, you know? Uh, shooting on the card is going to be uh, in a pretty decent area. Shot power in 89 is fine. Honestly, the five-star weak foot should compensate well enough for it. Traits, he has power header only. So no outside foot, no finesse shot trait uh, to work with those types of things. Dribbling will be experimenting with in game. I do expect it to be somewhat sluggish to work with uh, because of the six foot height, not necessarily the lean body type, but Obviously, we'll be taking a look at that kind of stuff in game anyways. Uh, heading accuracy, 96, 94 jumping. Great for heading um, if that's your type of play style. And um, yeah, let's go and see how he plays in game. We're going to use them in the 4-3-2-1 setup that, we'll, that I will be doing a review for at some point in the future. Well, he will be on Stay Central, get in behind. So yeah, let's go see what he's like. Hopefully, he's a decent player. I mean, that works. That works. I was trying to go for a, uh, a header there, but sure. Oh, I should have law passed that. That was a super decision. Ah, oh, I can't get to that. It's too forced. I have to wait for him to kind of make that run first. Ah. I don't, like to, I don't expect the finesse shots to be that crazy when given the opportunity. I don't expect that. Yeah, I had to really wait for that uh, times finish there. But the sprint speed part of the card actually kind of carried him over, to be fair. And this is not an unlengthy. Oh, dude, I had to wait a little bit because I have to see... If he goes to like the far post or something, you know? First time. Okay, scores that too. Was that? Yeah, see, I feel like those he like if you're if you're on the floor stuff is okay. I feel like you're in the air stuff, especially in that situation, has to be a little bit better, you know? I mean, maybe if I give him the architect, it's it's a little better, but. Green time shot works. We'll take it. Oh, nothing there. It's a little bit too much on uh, the cross. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. The header? Oh, I imagine. Tap shot. Oh, the tap shot doesn't even work there. No. Oh, it's deflected. Oh, that one he actually got ahead too. 
I don't know what just happened right there. That was so random. That was honestly so random. Oh, dude, even the the attacker advantage law pass, like, bro, you gotta be a monster, my boy. Oh, I couldn't get the shot off to the right side. There you go. That's what we're looking for right there. We're looking for the attacker advantage for the header, my boy, okay? That's what we need. He stopped playing. I'll take the goal. Nice. Good finish. Good finish. Nice goal. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, he feels way faster than I thought he would. Like, it almost feels... Like, I'm not even joking when I say this. It almost feels like he's on a lengthy without being on a lengthy for an engine. First time? Oh, man. That could have been nice if we actually scored that. But, offside. But, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, first of all, the consistent attacking AI is great, right? He, he definitely makes very, very solid runs um on a consistent basis but it's not just that like the the pace actually feels fine like it, it almost feels like he has base 99 sprint speed on the card i can't tell you if it's a combination of like the body type working a certain way with the rest of it but it performs okay that's a random touch there nice good reach pass it off yeah heal to heal you see what I'm saying? These guys have proper attacking AI. It's so weird. Fernando Torres, Closa, Burkamp, like... <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the first promo where it makes me feel like EA did some stuff to this card. Like, you know how, like, sometimes I review cards, I'm like, oh, this card's, like, special. Like, you can tell he's, like, different. Like, Palinia, Flashback, Benzema, Fakirs and stuff. Like, this promo feels like they did some stuff to these cards, man. It's like, yeah, okay, like, you feel the, the physical side of the card, of course. So I'm not going to say that you don't. A lot of people are going to be turned off by that completely. Um... But like, yeah, he's, I mean, it feels you really usable for sure. Oh, red times. Physical type strikers, man. Sometimes I just get their timing wrong. Just completely. Oh, nope. It goes in for the flying little header right there. Oh, he actually did okay there. Wasn't too bad. Now, obviously, when I talk about, like, players that feel special, like, the special cards I just listed to you are actually really, really sick in the meta of the gameplay. But I'm saying, like, cards that are performing a way where you don't expect it. You know what I'm saying? You just, you don't expect it. Oh, I wanted to see if the tap shot would work from that angle. But the ease no work. Ease no work. Hello! Oh, that's a goal, too. No. Sure. That's great. Ah, oh, dude, I, I, that's my fault because it's it's going to be a manual header. I have to aim it. It's weird, though, because I want to hit it to the side. But because it's manual, I, I just miss, you know? Ah, couldn't get the green on it. I like to try the crazy angles, you know? I like to try them out for some, like, sometimes. Nice strike. There we go. Yeah, guys, and that's, like, the new Desai card, like, the one from last week or whatever. And I'm telling you, like, that's not, that's not a, ma a massive advantage from the attacker be through on goal but he still runs faster than i expected especially on the um on the engine right
that was so random. I don't even know what happened there. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Miroslav Klose card. So this is going to be like a common occurrence with this promo where I'm going to tell you guys that cards perform a little bit better than you think that they would, to be honest. Uh, with Miroslav Klose, the things that obviously you're going to work with um, is going to be in the dribbling department. That is going to be the main thing uh, because of the fact that the dribbling stats are on the lower side uh, for specific things while being a six foot tall player at a lean body type. Now, what's interesting about this card is that using him on an engine chemistry style, he still feels pretty fast. Like he doesn't feel Mbappe fast, you know, but he doesn't feel slow and sluggish. His attacking AI is quick to move into positions, right? Like his attacking AI being controlled with 98 acceleration moves pretty quickly into those areas. You can see in some situations, uh, it allows us to get into those goal scoring opportunities pretty quickly. It was interesting because I was like, does this card have 90 acceleration with 98 sprint speed? Because he's doing this like on a consistent level where his pace doesn't feel that bad. And maybe it's because of the lean body type working with the pace stats as it is with the 98s for acceleration. But like I said, the card feels like it runs faster than you think it would. You know, it, it definitely does, which is definitely a plus because you don't necessarily have to make him a lengthy player. Now, generally speaking, obviously, if you're dribbling with this card uh, with the ball at your feet, the agility and balance being on the lower side can be annoying to work with from time to time. So this is definitely going to be a more the type of card uh, that physical type striker users will use in their teams. Like obviously with Miroslav Klose, I wouldn't necessarily recommend him in the top divisions, but I'm going to be honest with you. This is probably the first actual usable Klose card that we've ever had, you know, because Klose usually is kind of trash, to be honest with you. Um, with this card, I guess in the general scheme of things, it's trash too, but like it's way more usable to use in this game, like 100%. Attacking AI is there. He's got the five-star weak foot. The shooting comes off fine inside the 18-yard box. That's the least that you can ask for for cards that you were a fan of in real life and you want to build some sort of like concept team. Like it's not, I'm saying trash in regards to comparisons to like, you know, people using Mbappes and Alouerons, like that type of stuff, right? But if you want to use something different, you can score opportunities with this card. I will recommend you to use this card in a two striker lineup but that's gonna be very very important i think for this we were using him in the four three two one lone striker you want them to feel a little bit more responsive um unless it's like even like a fernando torres right like fernando torres is still he has that physical thing to him but his dribbling is still way more responsive than closer like this is too physical right so you need to have that two striker lineup uh for you to be able to fully utilize a card like this in my opinion but yeah, definitely performs better than I thought it would, to be honest with you. It's not a card that I would recommend at the top divisions, of course, but way more usable than any version he's probably ever had, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.